faint, but there. You came, good, curious maybe. You want the Mojave without a flag on your back. That'll end soon. Can't walk the long 15 and not have a nation's shadow fall on you. Maybe you just need to be tested, or you believe in nothing. We'll see. Survived. There was 
death in that package. And while the chip is important to old world ghosts, no, you are more dangerous than that chip ever could be. Maybe why you found each other. Little piece of the old world speaking to you, waiting for you to wake something else up with it. There's 
truth in your words. In what I've seen of their tactics, movements, recovery, those wounds. They couldn't live otherwise. The divide winds have torn the skin from many of them. Maybe the radiation is the only thing keeping them walking. They camp near silos, warheads. No way to cleanse the radiation. Makes them hard to kill there. Have to draw them out. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine, robot with you, can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. The divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here, courier. Left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. live on their 
their own, like most scavengers. So gave them purpose, turned their hunger into a weapon. The wall of new Canaan, too high for Kaisar. Too proud, maybe. Or maybe something there from his past that needed killing. Memory of Graham. Help them dig out Kanan's supply caches and other secrets the Sands hid. Bunkers filled with powered weapons even the Brotherhood might desire. They call these new weapons storm drums in the firing of shells. Taught them the power in the casings to channel the spirits in their guns. Me. They called me the flag bearer. Glory in my hand, in my staff that still bore the weight of the old world, just as the symbol on my back did. I learned their weapons as a means of respect, and when it came their turn to pay respect to me, history came rushing back. Can't escape what's been done. History's there, no matter how far you walk. There you are. You went quiet for a time. And that signal came in strong from your machine, like a heartbeat. Made your way through old world towns, the tunnels that joined them. Now, the high road. For all you've seen behind you, there's worse along this stretch. Death claws hunt the marked men. And they also hunt what burrows below. that make their own roads beneath the ground here. Divide broke their sky, showed them the world above, and the scent of new prey. This lower death for the Mojave than bombs and fire, but they'll come before its people, from where they least expect, below. Makes sense. Truth favors that, matches the history of this place. Were signs they were here for a long time, before marked men, before what happened to the Divide it cracked their sky. If so, they were buried deep. Might have been born the day America's embers started to settle. Seen worse things twisted by radiation. will come from below, in the divide, need to watch the sky, and ground, Mojave will be easy prey for them, they'll start emerging throughout the Mojave in time, might be years, probably less, they breed fast, hunt in groups, more than enough to bring down the strongest in the Mojave, once they draw blood, seeing them tear apart death claws, Deathclaw might get some, but the rest will swarm it, tear it apart, like Denver hounds. Mojave and the Divide aren't the only places I've walked. Walked the East, too, before the bull came. Then, much like Mojave before the bear, tribes, towns, clutching to life. Bull did a better job. false versions of Legate the Nuse's mask, the one Kaisar fashioned for him, thought it was an insult at first. No better now. It's shaped from divide metal, not with care and strength, but with hate. Keeps them anchored. Crude, effective, like the blades they carry. Distant mirrors of their Legate, a symbol they can hold on to while the Divide tears at them. For the two-headed bear, NCR, they don't have symbols in the same way Legion does. They revere their minds and explosives, guns. That is their religion. Death from afar. Take pride in it. the 
battlefield, now turned against the divide. Few survived, intact. Many NCR were already here when the destruction happened, keeping the route east open in fear of Kaisar, fear of the Legion.
one's home. Not your birthplace, maybe, but home. Home isn't where you were born into this world. You taught me that. Part of your message, whether you meant it or not, can be a place of mind. A moment where you know who you are, the history of it. And they can be places you breathe life into. Never would have known the divide had it not been for you. The road you made with your tracks again and again. You were the only one willing to make the journey to and from here. A hard road. Kept the land before the divide alive through seasons, storms. Can't have been just a job. Was something more to you. Don't feel for a place that hard unless it's home. It means everything. Even if you deny it, cast it aside. That speaks to what you are, proves what happened here. It was you walking that road that kept the divide alive. It grew from what you did. Settlers, camps, filling that old world city. Chance for a new mission, new beginning, new way of thinking. Could have breathed new life into the Mojave, bridging east, west, like Hoover Dam, but not old world. Something you made. Road was a supply line. No, recounting history. NCR saw the worth in that road you made. Staked a claim whether it was wanted there or not. True elsewhere in the Mojave. And where the bear tries to cling to life. The Legion comes, airing messages, some brought by blade, others by couriers. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden, walk west into the sun, and keep walking until it dies. There, I'll be waiting. Too high, too strong. White legs. They were born. 
for war. They run to it, hungry for battle. Yet their hunger is to be a part of history, something larger. Like the Legion, as always, brought them a message from Kaiser. If New Canaan burns, Kaiser might see them. Might. Even the chance was a lie. To honor Kaiser, destroy the history of New Canaan and the way they carry it in their generations and family. Kaiser respects such strength, I told them. That, that was truth. Even if strength wasn't the word. Obedience. You must be willing to kill anyone. Children, mothers, the weak, elders. If these new Canaanites value the generations, that is what you must kill. It was like Wolpus was speaking through me. Use the night, silence, and fire to change their words to please, to screams. No need for bombs, when hate will do. I asked the White Legs to destroy a people with ancestry going back thousands of years. Another death of history, lost to time. The new Canaanites. They supplied medicine, food traded with others. Civilization, a hand from the past, not history. But maybe a past deeper. Farther than that to a place where this God really exists. If so, his handiwork and people belong elsewhere, not in this place. Another symbol like bear and bull with no meaning in the present. Hopeville, High Road, Ashton, tiny cracks in the earth, nothing compared to the road carved ahead. Before you, this is the edge of the divide. Ahead lies your work, the history you burned in the earth, what you brought to the people here. You delivered a package, had markings that matched those in the divide. Not all, but enough. Military markings from some place the bear had savaged in the west. Maybe seeing those markings on it reminded you of home, made you carry it. It was a device, a detonator, one I'd never seen before, or heard before. You carried that thing to the divide. I know because I followed you as you walked the road, watched you do it. You brought it here, to the community you built. And you are responsible for what happened after, when the device opened, started to speak. When it did, the divide answered back. Those missiles you've seen, buried in their silos. They exploded beneath the ground, cracked the landscape. Sand, ash, the dead. The divide skies became a graveyard. Should've died there, but now that I know you live, the machines here saved me. I was the only survivor, or thought I was. Your package, the message inside, awoke medical machines, close to the one that shadows you, began to build themselves, then others. They only take what parts they find in the divide, never roam beyond it. Can't even leave the silos without a human to shadow. Like hounds. Maybe they saw the flag on my jacket. Thought I was of America. If so, history saved me. A sign. Not the name I'd give it. Not the name the dead would give it. Soldiers of the bear died here. Legion died too. My brothers, still dying. Both of them, all around us. 
none of the people that lived here survived. Yet all of the West and the East, they hold on as the divide tears at them. Revenge isn't the message I have for you. More than that, courier. Machinery. Simple on the outside. Computer parts. Inside. More complicated. Was the only time I'd heard a machine speak in the divide. The only machine with a voice. I've walked the east. You've walked the west. More than I have. Circle Junction. Reno. Vault City. Word of you at Fort Aradesh. Fort Abandon. Even further west than that. Brahman drives on the big circle. Whatever you saw out there wasn't enough to make you stay. Maybe the markings on the package reminded you of the road home. If you had been there when it happened, if you had seen the divide break, you would know it. You carry death wherever you go. If the Mojave doesn't know it yet, it will. What happened here can happen again. You already proved it. What you did in Ashton, the silo there. Didn't stop you though. Like carrying the trip to Vegas. Old world death in your hand. Pieces of the old world like that just need someone careless enough to take them where they need to go to do their killing. All these roads that you walked, these packages that you carried, think it wasn't your choice? Of course, it was your choice. You could have stayed in the Mojave, but you chose to come, couldn't let be. Not in you to let go. Came for no other reason than you were curious, restless, always have been. Had to know the why of it. Now I'll show you. Want to hear the answer of it? Not just history's answer. Your answer for what happened here.
The community that was once here, and the package you brought, both had markings of the divide, markings of America. You've seen the marks, the symbol, as early as the Hopeville silo, maybe, carried it etched on your weapons. The divide, its buildings, its people, were built around those same markings, surrounded them here. Markings like the flag on my back when I followed a year road to the divide those years ago. I saw the symbol I wore all around me. An old world symbol, strong to survive here. Its people, strong. Outlast the bear, outlast the bull. Promise of something better. Kaiser was right to want it dead. NCR was right to want to rake their claws in it. Seeing it changed me. Just the seeing Hoover Dam changed Kaiser and the NCR. Seeing it end changed me too. There was hope here. Another chance, a new nation stirring to life, a place I could have set my flag. Not the America of old, but something larger than the tribes of the East, something larger than the houses of the West, something better. The divide could have bridged both like Hoover Dam. Now like the dam, it's too covered in blood to see what it could have been. You gave life to this place. I followed a year road here, saw the divide. You led me here so that I could see. Then you brought it to an end. My history isn't revenge or hate. The road that brought us both here isn't about that. It's about the message you carried, the one in that package, whether you knew it or not. The message that one can kill a nation, can kill a symbol, and all that gather beneath its flag. I don't blame you for the divide. I blame you for what you made me see. Now you will see what you brought to the Mojave, and that will be my message to you. The nations of the Mojave, cracked and broken as the divide, its people the same. I have walked at Kaiser's command across the east into the west, far enough to know Kaiser's word did not drive me, far enough to see the end. You've seen it. No courier, whatever their flag, can ignore it. Why you didn't stay in the west, why you wondered. There's no future in the bear or bull. The bear is diseased, barely clings to life. And the bull, when the legion reaches the sea, it will turn on itself and die. Killing one will end both. And you made me see how one could do it. Your ignorance, carelessness, can be used with a purpose. Really, who's to say the truth of it? You? No. You walked from this, turned your back on it. Now you and others will answer for it. I'll start with the West, let that burn. Then, if the East falters after, I'll bring the divide there as well. Burn away the flags. Begin again. 
Your roads are not done. Haven't walked it full yet. Not nearly enough. The way ahead and below leads to the heart of the divide. And there, you and I, we'll have an ending to things. Already heard you once, long ago, and loud enough for history to hear. Tired of your messages. Still, curiosity drove you this far. Let's see what else it can do. Isar's orders. Sometime before, I realized the why of it. Wasn't just you. All couriers. No telling how many were legion. Maybe all of them. Wasn't sure about you until the divide. All the NCR burning. That much death. It bears the mark of a legion hand. But you killed like NCR, like Hanlon, with mines, bombs, missiles, killed Legion along with the bear, like a coward kills from a distance. If you were Legion, then NCR beat you. The West changed you. done, the Legion who died here. Even if you were a Legion, you would answer for those deaths by Kaisar's law. I knew all of you, your name, your road to and from the Divide, what that meant for the Legion. We never spoke, knew you through your actions. Knew you'd walked the west, as I'd walked the east. Learned different lessons. And I would never have discovered the divide without you. You scavenge words. Things I have no need of. No history there worth recounting. Scour the divide. Claw at it for meaning. But my words will give you no answer. They won't help you understand what happened here. And they won't help you understand me. Keep them. Listen. Study them. They won't help you here in the Divide.
You know what it was. Had symbols of America on it. New markings from after the Great War. Thought it might be America come again. Promise of another future. Another flag. It was a piece of machinery. Military. Holding memories. Codes, maybe. When it woke. Made these sounds. Words. When it spoke. The divide became fire. The ground. Tore apart like the skies. Through it all. Kept calling out. Maybe calling for home. Buried in the divide. Part of it now. Wherever it is, it's been silent. If it spoke again, we'd know. Machine couldn't speak by itself. Needed a terminal to access it. Like the terminals in the silos here. Or the machine with you. When it was connected, it started speaking. And the divide answered. If I have the answers, you've earned them. At the end of the divide, through the trenches and wreckage, that's where you'll find me. A new home, here, amongst dead men. You and that machine. Keep your eyes on the tower that cuts the horizon. You'll find your way. Made it this far. Not much farther to go. Someone tough. 
tougher than him or I to best of them in their dome. They didn't know why they were there, what had led to that point. Their names, like serpents devouring themselves, cannibalizing their own thoughts. When all seemed lost, thought it was the end. My anger gave me strength to ask them my last question. Who are you that do not know your history? And they awoke for a short time. The flag you wear, they said, we remember. America. It wasn't just a flag to them. It was a place, an idea they had cared for. Once, they told me what it was like to grow in that world. All they had done to lift it up, protect it. They didn't know it was gone. That, yet, they had cared once, before forgetting their history. As they were talking, kept seeing the career's shadow behind them, giving each their words weight. History cast aside, a home left behind. I listened, I asked, was there anything left, anything that still carries America's voice? And they told me I had already been there, I and one other, walking right out of history deeper than we knew. They told me what lies in the heart of the divide, what can be found there, and the words to awaken it, and the one to speak them. Thought that explosion, that building falling deep in the divide, might have been your work. Wouldn't kill you. Maybe close. Knew you'd survive, but no need to go any farther. You've brought me what I need. That machine with you, sealed in the Hopeville silo. Needed someone to unlock it, bring it home. Now the signal's strong enough. No need for you to carry it anymore. I can call your machine to me. You gave it a name. What was it to you? Companion, slave, weapon, all of that. Nothing compared to its primary function. It's a messenger, like us, and it shares our history. If you feel its loss, remember, you could have turned away at any time, gone back home, and none of this would have happened. But you had to make one last delivery. And that's why I knew you'd come a courier. Couldn't stay away. It's who you are. The machine you brought is mine now. It's coming home. I'll reduce it to parts. Just enough to function. To be aware of what's happening. What's inside that machine? That's all that mattered. All the machines here, made of wreckage from the divide, and all that was brought here. Inside its frame, it carries the message you brought here, and it'll do what it was programmed to do, whatever it can to get home. The giants here will listen to it. I'll bring the divide to your home, your nation. Let its flag burn, just like you let the divide burn. Big mountain access code, Ulysses. Command, override. Navarro.
So you came, courier. To what? Watch your homeland burn one last time? Kill me, perhaps? Judging by your shadow, maybe you can't let your machine go. Doesn't matter now. Either way, the Divide Giants are awakening. The missiles here on their way home. There is no way to stop them. You've answered your own question. And you'll die with that question on your lips. You don't see, listen, even when it's all around you. No matter if I nailed it into your head like a gift from Kaisar. You brought the divide to life, courier. You walked the road, brought the bear, then the bull, brought me, following your tracks. And when I saw the divide you made, I saw a second chance, a new way of thinking. My world, no longer the East. And you brought the West in that package, destroyed it all, nearly killed me, flesh and spirit. You've destroyed something larger than the bear, greater than the bull. And even when you could have turned away, you brought it again in that machine. You destroyed a nation taking its first breath. A place that could have been my home. Now, I'll destroy yours. No. Now there is purpose. I believe you when you say you were careless. The divide, the chip, the machine you brought here. Many messages can be taken from that, intended or not. What I do now is an act of conviction. <laughs> Blame you? No. Learned from you. Both the weapon to kill a nation, and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. No, not the Mojave. The West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war, now a flag carried by a tribe of children. You walked the west, didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure, follows a symbol without knowing its history. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly, or destroy itself. You destroyed your own homeland, seeing a nation burn? Didn't think that would matter anymore to you. There's a strength in that, lack of attachment. Still, you're here now. If there's no more answers you want, then we'll end this. Yet you follow nothing at all. You have walked the Mojave. Let the shadow of flags fall upon you. Yet walk carelessly. No allegiance. Your words empty as your actions. The why of it. You taught me the why of it. If you believe in something enough, you must be willing to let it burn, lest it claim you. These governments of the two-headed bear, the Legion, they carry old world ideas into an age that no longer needs them, where they cannot live. Our history, the divide, that history has been written, its lessons learned, 
There's nothing more to be dug from these cracks in the earth, no more fury to be torn from its sky. My home in the East Drywells is no more. It is part of the Legion. The only other home, the chance of a home, was what you built at the Divide. Then you destroyed it. There is truth in that. History has proven it. But Mojave's proof that no homeland is sacred until the larger symbols are destroyed. Whatever is built, the bear, bull, even Vegas, will tear it apart, convert it either with purpose or by accident. Nothing can prevent what comes the missiles will launch. These questions, your words or mine, what do they matter to you? It is enough. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the earth here, you may build something else, as you built the Divide. You have spoken truly. There is a shadow of a nation behind you, the hope of a people. Yet it may not matter. The Divide still stands against us. Our enemies gather outside, shadows of the bear and a bull. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention. In case I could not kill you, the marked men would flood this place, cut off your escape. If we cannot prevent what comes, then let us make our stand here. Two couriers together at the Divide. They come for us. East and West alike. Lightless in the night, invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another, a footlocker, bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning 
in the present. It said, war, war, never changes. Men do, through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. circle. Walked your road. Now back again. Something else in you needing an answer. A question one could have asked you not long ago, before walking the road west into the storms. Need to be here. See what was done. It's custom of the bear to never see the marks it claws in the land. Not my custom. Maybe that's why you've come to need to see where the missile from Ashton touched ground down below in Hopeville, the Courier's Mile. My name for it. If you have a better one, you grant it. My choice in names won't carry past you and I. Lies along the road, running from the Hopeville silo, straight onto where the ground burns and wind howls even stronger than here. That's part of why I'm here. Watch them. If they attack me, try to enter the Mojave. I answer, not looking to kill them. Save them, if I can. There might be something saving in them. If not, then what I do is mercy, not murder. The invisible fires burn here, true enough. Still, to have helped carry out such an act, then not face it, not to my way. If my life burns out here, so be it. Until then, I wait and watch, see what the road brings. Something else in you needing an answer? Not a camp. V. 
individual who maybe never claimed it as mine. If anyone owns the divide, your claim is stronger than mine. Don't feel like adding a campfire to the ones that already burn below. If you brought Mojave gifts, might be able to shape something for the road. Depends what history has to say about them. There's a lot the land can provide, if you know the road that led to it. Mojave's got ways of healing most ills. If not, some tribes are usually found a way you didn't expect. Like healing powders. Tribes back west only use Xander and rock flower. There's a way the twin mothers in the east used to brew it, though. Called it bitter drink. Mixed up the Xander and Brock in a bottle. Added some kick to it, so your head doesn't get all clouded. History. Cures a wound, leaves the bitterness that caused it. The twin mothers were always about lessons. Kaisar taught them the last one, though. So that's it for them. Recipe still exists. Legion uses it on forced marches with wounded soldiers. Wouldn't have made it through Crimson River Trail a few years back without it. Losing so much blood early on was a Casador feast. Enough Xander root and Brock flower along the trail, though. The Legion was able to keep pace and get where they were going. Can do that, and one better. Just enough around to mix some. Here, might make the twin mother's history live a little longer. You carrying it. When you drink it, down it all in one shot, or your stomach's not going to want to keep going after the second a drink. Nothing more than I've already shared. We'll have to keep with what we know. Tired of history's lessons anyway. Something else in you needing an answer? Didn't think I'd be breathing to hear you say that. Message isn't important. Meaning is. Had to speak of it in case the words got lost in paper, ink, or others' voices. Maybe even yours in time. Still meant for you. Courier to courier. Belongs to you now. Or history. Doesn't matter. Walk there sometimes. Keep the walks short. Still, it's important to see. Something else to answer for. Occasionally sift through the dust, the buildings. See if I can find some history. Marks of America. If you want them, keep them. You've earned it. Nothing to be gained by me holding them. And more will surface in time. sunsets on the Mojave. That place and I have a past. Owe it a debt, and it owes me. If your path takes you there, know you're not the only one. It's the wall by which this age will be measured, the gravestone of the Mojave. Old world never meant it as such. Can hear the weight in your feet. You're bound for that old world wall. Hoover Dam. Maybe not now. In time. Bear and bull shed too much blood there to let it go. Can't stop you from going. Wouldn't. A warning, though. 
The legate Lenius, where the Kaisar stands or not, Lenius will come. Lenius, butcher, monster, terror of the East. Not even his slaves have seen his face. Struck them blind so they can't. Wears a mask. Don't even know if it's the same man. He put Colorado to the sword. Broke the hangdogs by throwing their hounds upon the flames. So they might burn forever in the afterlife. To take Hoover Dam. Legion will need something as big as the old world itself. Another symbol forged by history. Aeneas carries all the terrors of the East with him. He's the myth, the weapon the Legion needs. When he arrives, he'll fall on Hoover Dam like a hammer. Break the bear in two. Nineteen tribes could not do it. All the lights in Vegas cannot. His strength lies in his title, and it is his weakness. He will not fight a losing battle and destroy what he represents. Put the idea of loss in him. Convince him the bear will not be the twentieth tribe beneath his heel. It will make him pause like nothing on earth. You do not need to convince him alone. Draw upon history. The past of other legates are not filled with victories. Remind Lanius of this. There are other legates, and the one before Lanius couldn't take Hoover Dam for Kaiser. That legate's mistake is he didn't die trying. His name was Joshua. Joshua Graham answered for his failure. Twice, some say. Kaiser had him burned and cast into the earth into the largest canyon you've ever seen. Watched the flames trail all the way to the bottom. Somehow, Joshua walked away from that, went beyond Kaisar's gaze, his footsteps trailing fire, walking from one hell, maybe to another. When one is ruined like Graham was, sometimes home is the only place left. If so, he went to New Canaan, Kaiser's anger written on him like a book. Kaiser's orders to the Frumentari were to watch for him, find Graham, kill him. Didn't try. Could've. No good would've come of it. Graham earned his life and his nature. It'll kill him more surely than any blade of the Legion. So, if you've heard word of it or seen sign of him, let it keep. Let his history keep. Then there is nothing more to be done. The Mojave awaits. <laughs>